social interaction because like in Japan like I found it really hard to interact with like other cosplayers and or other photographers even like other than changing name card like it never went far hmm. you know like how about in Australia well Australia is much of a more much more of a laid back culture compared to Japan which is very formal cosplayers and business cards like their networking and their businessmen they have to make contact with other people well, I guess which is true in a way but cosplayer but cosplayers here we don't really have business cards I personally think cosplay business cards are kind of more a Japanese invention for networking purposes I can understand why because there are so many cosplayers and cosplay scenes huge in Tokyo but in Australia it's usually like yeah 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 like uh, what's your yeah like how can I get in contact with you oh I've got a cosplay Facebook page usually or I have a Twitter handle I do my cosplay through most Western cosplayers usually have Facebook pa fan pages that they run that they run and put all their cosplay stuff on and yeah, I mean, like, usually people just approach them. Uh, people just approach cosplayers and ask. Uh, and ask. I guess there isn't really that stigma of, like, group-oriented cliques like there are in Japan. Ah, uh, so it's easier to interact and just make new friends and, like, you know, like, photographers to get new cosplayers to shoot and, like, vice versa. Yes. in Japan. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's, like, the thing, uh, in terms of, like, cosplay culture and events... In Japan, I found that is much more of a community. Obviously, the scene's bigger, so I can kind of sustain that. But the cosplay community is much bigger, so often they'll have like little groups getting together, organizing their own private shoots, and then going somewhere and maybe renting out a venue. Like I did a shoot at Love Hotel a little while ago. Love Hotel. And that was an interesting experience. But that was all organized by one cosplayer who would get who got a group of her fellow cosplayers together and we all went in we shot some photos no risque ones unfortunately oh it's love hotel <laughs> you got <Right>. it <laughs> but it's love hotel as venue so yeah don't take it don't 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 think don't let your imagination goes too far oh and one more thing like when i saw the videos you show me about the afcon in adelaide and stuff like they have like this cosplay fashion show thingy and like where people can like there's like this huge hall people can go to the stage and like you know like do some cosplay skits and like you know be in action throwing swords and stuff like that's really cool like what is that well i guess this is typical for most western cons but usually there's like a cosplay parade uh, there's like a cosplay parade and cosplay contest where all those who want to enter can come on they can strut their stuff there's like a there's a catwalk like at a fashion show so they just like come outside they do their pose so people in the pit around can take their photos and they come back and then you have cosplayers who might come and maybe put on a little skit for everyone i remember one year there was this really cute doctor who family who came in there were a couple of a couple of kids dressed up as daleks in really like in like fluffy dalek suits that's so there cute. was one which doctor was it i think it was matt smith the matt, uh, matt smith with the bow tie there was one kid dressed as the tenth doctor with a little bow tie and one kid dressed as um karen gillian oh. karen gillam's character amy pond i think her name was and then quickly afterwards there was this crazy troop of chinese cosplayers who had this crazy choreographed dynasty um, you know, dynasty samurai warriors skit which was this marvel of like choreographed martial arts <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow anyway that that sounds really awesome because that is something we don't have in the cons in japan here like people just come to the con we change in we change out and in between we take a lot of picture mostly with our own group kind of thing so what is it the things that you like about uh, the cosplay like you know if you put it in a nutshell like things you like about cosplay in japan and things you like about cosplay in australia well things about cosplay in japan i like how there's just a lot more i personally think the quality of cosplay in japan is higher there's much more of an adherence to getting it perfect and getting it right and i guess it's a perfect the quality in Japan is just so high and it's really cool how there are all these different cosplay studios around that you can do if so if there's no convent there's no event then you can still go out and get your cosplay on quite easily it's not quite that easy in the west i mean outside of the big conventions there aren't really any like 
places to do for cosplay, so you'd either have to like go somewhere to build your own build your own set, go somewhere. I remember I heard about this group of Canadian cosplayers and photographers who pulled together a lot of money and went and did these epic pictures in the Canadian wilderness. But that's something you kind of have to do in the West because there's no like cosplay friendly venues. I mean, in Tokyo alone, we have all these little cosplay studios with purpose built sets for cosplay photography that are reasonably priced, have great facilities, and are usually relatively accessible. That's not something we have in the West. So I have a feeling that a lot of the major cosplayer revolves around like con attendance. So you have like the con circuit. So cosplayers will maybe attend one con, then a week or two later fly off to attend another con in another state or another city. And then, and then kind of like follow the con circuit around each year. Wow, that sounds like a lot of logistics. So there's virtually no cosplay studio like they have in Tokyo, not in Australia. I mean, I know there's one in the States that it's called, and they make a light studio, they just make it the Kickstarter kind of thing. Like, what do you think the chance of Australia having similar facility? Well, it would definitely be an interesting venture. You'd have to pick it right, pick the right place. I mean, you'd have to find some place where there's enough cosplayers to kind of sustain you so that you don't have like this empty venue and it's like just empty all the time and just sometimes people would come in. But I think it would be a really cool venture for the cosplay scene and give the cosplay scene kind of a shot in the arm because then you'd get more people interested in cosplay. They can come and cosplay in a safe environment which is not so big and noisy. I think it would be really cool. Just a matter of like finding the will and capital to invest in something like that. Mm, wow, awesome. That's really interesting. Anything else you want to say to the audience? Cosplay in both cultures is amazing. I mean, they got their own ups and downs, but I personally think cosplay in the West has its own different identity from cosplay in Japan. They're both similar, but different at the same time. They both have their awesome values. And I think neither is worse or better than the other. Neither is worse or better than the other. Both have their different values. They have their own plus and minus on each side and it's all cultural difference because it's practically whole different countries. Like for example, you don't have all those dangerous drop bears in Japan, but they have it in Australia. That's what you told me. Drop bears are dangerous. Yes. They they, they can eat you or something like that. That's what you tell the Americans. Yes. We tell the Americans a lot of things. Okay. Awesome. So, guys, what do you think about the difference of cosplay in Australia and in Japan? If you have anything else you want to say, if you think there's anything we miss, uh, and, you know, if you have things you say, it's like, oh, like, uh, what I think about cosplay in Japan and in Australia is this, this, and this. So, yeah, guys, in Australia, if you want have suggestion, advice, rant, whatever, shout us out, leave comments on YouTube, and subscribe. Bring your friends to subscribe in Cosplay Tokyo. Like, by the way, we're both Cosplay Tokyo. Cosplay Tokyo is yes. us. Yes. Leave a comment. We want to hear your two cents. Exactly. We want to hear your opinion about how is it. Or, you know, if you want to know more, like, as I told you always, we are your concierge of cosplaying in Tokyo. So, shut us out. Leave us comment. Contact us and ask us anything. Don't forget to subscribe because we really need those fake internet points. I call them fake internet points, but they're actually pretty important. So, yeah. See you around. See you next time. Okay, that's good.